He ordered maximum spicy. It's a fine line between pleasure and pain, isn't it? Oh. <clears throat> I think we've crossed that one. <laughs> Hello friends from Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome back to the channel. Behind me is a restaurant that I've been wanting to try ever since I heard about it. Its co-owner is the famous food vlogger Mark Weems and uh, the name of the place is actually named after him. It's called Pet Mark, which means Spicy Mark. It specializes in one of my favorite Thai dishes, very, very popular Thai dish. It's called Kapra Mu, which means uh, stir-fried holy basil with pork and uh, that's the picture and then oftentimes you have a fried egg with it and you can see here you also have a couple of other options but the important part to pay attention to is the different levels of spiciness that you can uh, order this dish in and from what i heard here the three is already fairly spicy so i'm standing outside right now because it's a small place plus i wanted to show you what it looks like it's so tiny but a friend's gonna come meet up and now uh, we're gonna go in, we're gonna order and we're gonna share the suffering together. We finally made it here. We are in Ped Mark, which means spicy mark. And we've already ordered because they're close to closing. Well, how have you been, bro? <laughs> been good. It's uh, great to catch up. And last time I saw this guy, we were riding off road in the Karakura Mountains in Pakistan, had a terrific adventure had to carry the bikes across the landslide. And uh, now, like six months later, we meet up yep. in the big uh, concrete jungle of Bangkok. Totally different environment. Good to catch up with you, man. Completely different, yeah, man. So, so cool. I, I literally arrived in Bangkok today, and uh, we were able to meet up. I've been wanting to eat at this place since I knew it existed. So now we've already ordered. Dan went first, and he ordered Maximum Spicy, which is what I was going to order but he already beat me to it. So then of course I had to order maximum spicy. And the guy I talked to just a minute ago had four spicy, not five, and he was crying and he said, uh, it's gonna be a challenge. So I think we're up for it. He's probably up for it. He lives here, so he's probably up for it. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> so food's on the way. got some extra tissues, just in case. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's crying. right, tissues. Or more chilies if anybody wants. Oh my god, oh my god. So it's. it's yeah. Mine looks worse than his. You want to smile? Okay. <laughs> Damn. See, I, I just can't beat this guy. As soon as I say mine looks worse, I want to smile. Oh my god, man. I, I those smell. Are, those are the big chilies. It's usually the big ones aren't the spiciest ones, though. Well, but I think it's also in there, right? Yeah. So it's in there as well. Those are all babies. And check out that egg. I believe that's a duck egg. That's why it looks so radioactive orange. And well, it's got some heat. It's definitely got some heat. Mark's already digging in. Okay, hold on. Let me let me put this thing down so we can uh, try to eat. All right. All the countries you've been to, which country has the spiciest food? Thailand. Thailand it is, nothing else yeah. eats. Well, there are others get close, but Thailand and then China maybe the second thing. Like, right we have two cameras going, hold on, let me put these in by each other. All right, so one you can see what we are And then, so there's the egg. The big ones aren't actually the spicy. Oh, it's, it's, it's coming. Be a bit. Like, it's a bit delayed. All right, come on, here we go, come on. Guys. No, I'm kidding. Mm. Wow. No. Wow, that's actually pretty tasty. It is, right? Um, it's like a, a, a lot of pork as well. Big yeah, portion. Big portion. Yeah, it is a bit expensive, but it is a big portion. Wow. So far, so good. Okay. Sometimes the best try places it. in Bangkok, they just do one thing, but they do it. That's exactly what I love, man. Like, you know, you go to a food stall, and that person makes that one thing. That's all they ever make, that's and right. it's the best. I spent 20 years perfecting that one recipe. Exactly. So you know it's going to be good. And you know, <clears throat> cup brown noodles is one of my favorite Thai dishes. I can eat this twice a day, or three times a day. 
That was a whole chili. Just so you know. Oh, we're not Oh, we're not I mean, <clears throat> it's coming. It's coming. Like, it's so good. To be honest, I was worried that after one mouthful, I was done. Hmm. It's very spicy, but it's not like, it's not lethal level spicy. No. Like, it, it is edible. You get they say, when you have spicy food? No, but I think it's runny nose and teary eyes really quickly. I get that and it gets on top of it. Oh, I so already have yep. hiccups coming really? out already. Okay. Yeah, I can feel it. I gotta say, it is pretty damn good. It is right. We haven't bitten into the duck egg yet. Let me show you a close up of this. It's pretty. Yeah, Dan's going for some drinks. I'm sweating. Now they say the egg yolk tames down the heat. So you like crack the egg yolk. I mean, you can do it on that camera. You crack the egg yolk and it like bleeds over the pork. And then you. The rice, mm -hmm. the rice is burning hot. Oh my god. <laughs> I burnt myself from heat. Tissue cut. Oh. <laughs> okay. um, let's do this. <laughs> Can you see the chili? Oh wait, I gotta watch that rice and burnt. Mm. Mm. It's a fine line between pleasure and pain, isn't it? Oh. <clears throat> I think we've crossed that one. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes are done. Mark, why do you do this to people? It's good though. I'm really impressed. It's too hot. The girls are shirt there says it all. Let me show you. Harsh and cruel. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums up this <laughs> meal right now with the five star chilies. Harsh and cruel indeed. <laughs> oh man, I'm not looking so good. The <laughs> <laughs> really is killing me. Alright, how are we doing there, man? Here we go. Mm. There. One more. One more big chili to go. Mm. Last big chili. I think this is the biggest one though. I've got two left. You see, whoops. But we're going to shrink that number to one just now. It's a lot of food. This is. It is. Yeah, this is really filling. Yeah, I mean. They, it's expensive looking when you look at the menu because usually I get this for like 50 bucks. Here it's like 120 bucks. But well, this is probably this about is double. Double, yeah. And, and, and this is with duck egg, which is not as cheap as regular egg. Um, so, yeah, not a bad value, to be honest. For this area as well, also right in the middle mm. of FMA, which is cool. one of the most expensive areas in Bangkok. We live in large, my friend. Oh yeah, but now that the rice is steaming hot, it's much more manageable. Manageable. We're making progress. 
I'm gonna get this done. I got it and and got a drink, right? Smart move. I have to document my buddy Dan here has already done it. And, uh, this is what 10 years of Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. this, is, this is what I've accomplished after 10 years living here. Yes, and uh, he eats spicy, obviously. And I'm still halfway. But it's a lot of food. It's not just spicy, it's a lot of food. I'm this is like at least food. double the regular <laughs> path of public. I'm full and I'm like, oh. But uh, still going there. I just want to congratulate that I lost already. <laughs> not finished, but. It's a marathon, it's not a race. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there you go. Congrats, Dan. <laughs> uh, friends, I have thrown in the towel. <laughs> We've got two cameras going here. Um, a lot of tissues. I think you should just eat, eat the last big chili, just, just to say that you ate all the big chilies. You can't leave that one there. I'm so full. Actually, that's what's stopping me. But I'll, I'll eat the last chili. Here. He's being nice to me because the chili's actually not that spicy. It looks worse than it is. But I'm so full. Oh my God. I will say, I thought it was going to be spicier. <laughs> I mean, you know Mark Weems, right? You guys know the guy who may open the restaurant or no? Yeah, I know. No. Yeah, I watch his videos. Like, that guy can eat spicy, right? And, you know, maximum spicy at his restaurant would be like, oh, one bite, you're done. And it's, it's really spicy. Let's not. I'd this say this would like destroy 98% of <laughs> tourists, let's put yeah. it that way. But I thought it would be like like death after one bite. Like ghost pepper or something. You like know? it'd be but, begging for mercy, right? Mm -hmm. Begging Mark for mercy. Yes. I don't know if you realize this, but it's kind of a... The name of the restaurant is kind of a play on words. So, so it's Pet Mark. But Mark sounds like Mac, which is very... So it's Pet Mac. Which means? It's like very spicy. Very spicy. That's right. There you go. So See? Mark, Mark. It's got that double meaning. All right. And it is definitely very spicy, but man, that's a big portion. We're okay. So that's it for here. I think I would definitely give it a thumbs up. Really, really tasty. Um, Kapramu. Maybe next time I'll order a regular spicy and enjoy the whole thing. <laughs> but it's a big portion. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. We're going to continue on with the vlog. <laughs>